Surveillance video here from a fast food restaurant showing the Parkland shooter's eerie encounter with the brother of one of his shooting victims. And that young man had no idea. We're learning and we're seeing what happened after the mass shooting. Simmons and Colin Salata is live at the Broward County Courthouse in downtown Fort Lauderdale with more on today's proceedings in the sentencing trial, Nicole. Right, Jeff, and you know the defense attorneys, attorneys for Nicholas Cruz, said they didn't think any of that video of what happened after the fact, that that was even relevant for the jury to see. They said the crime had already been committed. This doesn't have anything to do with his sentencing. Well, the state disagreed. They felt like it showed some measure of planning on his part, and the judge agreed with the state. When I began to yell commands at him, he followed all my instructions. 340 in the afternoon, about an hour after the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, Coconut Creek Police Officer Michael Leonard has found uh, Nicholas Cruz. I got him prone down on the ground. Uh, I asked him what his name was, and he told me Nicholas Cruz. What's going on today, bro? Uh, the de demons, man. Demons. Surveillance video shot just a few minutes before shows a much calmer Cruz. Minutes after the massacre, he walked into a subway less than a mile from the school. After ordering a drink, he walked out and headed to a nearby McDonald's. Another teenager was already there, John Wilford, who'd evacuated the school minutes earlier. I was trying to get a hold of my sister. She wasn't picking up. What John didn't know, his sister Maddie had been shot four times and lay unconscious inside the school. He was focused on getting home. Nick Cruz came and sat down right next to me. All right. Did you know who he was? No. Ever meet him before? Never. The confessed shooter asked Wilford for a ride. He was pretty insistent on it, and I said no. I just, no, I wasn't really thinking much of it. I mean, I was just trying to get home. My sister wasn't answering her phone. I was nervous. I was panicked. I didn't I also had a bad gut feeling about it. Cruz arrested minutes later as he walked. Jurors also shown the maroon junior ROTC shirt he wore as well as his hat and glasses. Yeah, but the moments immediately the after the black. killing, the ones prosecutors clearly hope will stick with the jury who must decide between life in prison or death. And the jurors had a shorter day today. Court ended uh, around lunchtime or so. They will be back first thing in the morning. And one of the reasons it ended, both sides as well as the judge having a meeting, trying to plan exactly how the jurors will be transported and how they will uh, conduct a visit to the freshman building at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School so the jurors can see for themselves and be there where this massacre happened. Reporting at the Broward County Courthouse in Fort Lauderdale, Nicole Insalata, 7 News.